In this video, we will learn about how to insert an element into a linked list in the beginning. So I'm going to give an example and then write the program. So let's start by defining the function. So I'm going to call it insert beginning or BEG for short. It won't return anything. Now I'm going to give an input parameter, which is going to be the data which we want to insert into the linked list. Now the first thing we must do in any insert operation is we must define a node which stores this data. So I'm going to call that node new node. So now the object new node is going to store the data I want to add to the linked list. The first thing we must check is I need to check if the list is empty. If the list is empty, I need to set both my start pointer and my end pointer to the new node we have created. So let's say this is the new node storing variable x. Let's say it is at the memory address say 100. When I create this node and the list is empty, this means this is the very first element or the very first node I am going to add to the list. In such a case, I must initialize this as my starting node and I must initialize this as my ending node. So let's see how we are going to write that. So if the list is empty, we know the list is empty when start is equal to null. In such a case, I must initialize both my start node and my end node to new node. After this, we have completed inserting the element into an empty list and we can return from the function. Now let's look at the other case which we must encounter. The second case is the list is not empty. So let me give an example of a pre-existing list. Let us say this is my list which has the elements 1 and 2 stored in the addresses 100 and 200 respectively. So this is going to be my starting node and this is going to be my ending node. When I want to add an element to the beginning of the list, what I mean is I want to add an element over here. So let's say I'm going to add my element. I'm keeping the element as x. This could be any number, whichever number is stored in the variable data. 
So I have created my new node here. Let's say it's at memory address 50. Now I want this to be my first node and this to be my second node. So what must I do? What are the steps I must take? The first step I must take is to set my current start dot previous. I need to set it to the new node because I want it. I want the new node to be inserted previous to the start. So let's see how I'm going to do that. So what am I doing? I am setting start dot previous. It's no longer null. It's going to be the address of the new node or 50. So what I must do is start dot previous is equal to new node. The next thing I must do is with our pre-existing new node Currently, previous and next are set to null. Now, I want to change this next. I want the next element to this node to be whatever is currently in the start node. So, I'm going to change the next of the new node. It is no longer null. I'm going to set it to whatever is currently at start. So, how I'm going to do that is new node dot next is equal to start so now as you can see we have ensured that this node is pointing to the next node as this one and this node its previous node is pointing to the new node so we have correctly set the pointers pointing in the correct directions we want this to be the first node and we want this to follow that node that has been ensured. We want this node to precede this node and that has also been ensured with the pointers. Now that we have set the pointers, the next thing we must do is we must update the start. Our linked list no longer starts from this element. This is no longer the starting node because there exists a node which precedes it. So I am going to update the start. This is no longer my start. Instead, my new start is going to be the new node. So let me write that. I want to reset my start to equal to the new node. With this, I have successfully added an element to the beginning of the list. Let me show you how the list looks now after all these updations. After having doing the necessary updates, this is what our list looks like. As you can see, we have added the element x to the beginning of the list. With this, we come to the end of our function. This is how you insert an element to the beginning of a linked list.